The Dentist, starring Corbin Burnson as the psychotic dentist. Beverly Hills dentist Dr. Finestone seems to have the perfect ordered life until the discovery of his wife's affair with the pool boy sends him off the deep end, unlocking the killer inside. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a super simple story. Uh, dude's got a killer house, a hot ass wife, what seems to be a prosperous dental practice. Um, but then on his anniversary, catches the wife blowing the pool boy. Uh, and the vision that he has right after that part was fucking hilarious. Um, you just see him storm outside, pull his gun out, shove her head down on his dick, and then put the gun in the dude's mouth. Oh, shit, that was fucking awesome. Um, but that was really just a hallucination, and the shit that he does do to them later on in the movie, fucking gnarly. I don't really want to give spoilers, but it it was painful and awesome. Um this flick has a lot of cringy painful scenes um but i mean that in a good way like you're watching it and it's making you cringe in pain it's not like cringe and like they're trying too hard to be cool or whatever like that is is just this one hits the nerves and uh it's amazing there's one part where he's using like it looked like a deburring tool for a dremel but attached to the dentist drill and he's just going to town on this chick's tooth completely destroying it but the way they do it is like it looks like the camera's right in the person's mouth it's obviously a prosthetic mouth and shit but the camera work to get all the close-ups of the tooth destruction and like tongue torture that he does to people and he takes like uh, one of those dental speculums, for lack of a better term, and just reefs it so this one person's mouth is just permanently locked open. Uh, it, it's a phenomenal movie. Um, oozes of 90s nostalgia. Like, you throw this on, you definitely know it's a 90s flick just from the set designs, the music, the outfits, the way people act. It's just. It's so good. It definitely lived up to all my memories of it and surpassed it because I forgot all about the uh, like the affairs and the sleaziness in this flick. I just remember the, the camera angles when the tooth are getting damaged. But oh, this movie was amazing. I definitely recommend it. And it's definitely getting watched regularly here, at least once a year, maybe twice, who knows. Um, get a kick out of it, though, that it showed up right in time where one of my co-workers just had a rather painful dentist experience. So I've been a bit of a shithead, and I've been teasing him with this, telling him he's got to come watch it and shit like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was directed by Brian Yuzna, or Yuzna, I can't remember how to say his name, uh, who's done some awesome, awesome films in the past, and yeah, just go grab this, if you're in the States, it's like 12 fucking dollars at Walmart and Amazon and everywhere else, you fuckers can get cheap movies, unlike in Canada, where you can't find this at all in any fucking stores, not even on Canadian Amazon. Uh, thankfully, U.S. Amazon shipped it. After conversion and shipping, it was under 30 bucks for two movies. Can't complain. Y'all need this in your collection. It is phenomenal. Investron did a great job on the remastering. It is clean as fuck. Uh, you can tell where they've inserted some older footage and get a little bit of the grain. Uh, I think that was more noticeable in the second one, but 
Yeah. Go grab that shit. Thanks for fucking watching. Stay sleazy. Peace. <laughs>